Hello friends, this video on respiration in organisms part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us now talk about plants. So we have spoken a lot about uh, diff many different animals. So what do you think can happen in plants? How do plants undergo respiration? Now plants, something that strikes your mind immediately when you think of plants. What do plants need to live? They need sunlight, they need water and why do they need all this? Because the, with the help of these things, plants prepare their food by photosynthesis. Now for photosynthesis also, plants need of course sunlight, it needs water but it also needs carbon dioxide. So how do plants get carbon dioxide for photosynthesis? So how do plants undergo this exchange of gases? Now, if you closely look at the leaves of the plant, you will see that there are tiny pores which are present on leaves of plants and these pores are called stomata. So plants perform photosynthesis by which they prepare their food. So light energy from the sun gets converted into chemical energy and th during this process, food gets prepared. Food is prepared in the form of glucose. So if you look at the leaves of the plant even more closely, what do you see? There are tiny pores and these pores are called stomata. So some tiny pores present in the plants. Right? Now in plants by photosynthesis they will prepare food and that food is in the form of glucose and the food is stored in the form of starch. So all this is clear. Starch is the form in which food is stored. But plants also need energy to perform all these things. Even though plants do not move from one place to another, but to carry out photosynthesis, to carry out the life processes inside, they also need energy. So that means in plants also, the food which is prepared, that is glucose, needs to be converted into energy. So that is where respiration comes into picture. And for respiration again, the food needs to be oxidized. So food again, here is basically the simplest form of food which is glucose. So glucose needs to be broken down to get converted into to produce energy and for this process again oxygen is needed. So exchange of gases again this will produce carbon dioxide which needs to be thrown which can anyways be utilized for photosynthesis. So exchange of gases again needs to take place in plants just like it had happened in animals. Now, there might be a question in your mind that, okay, now plants can undergo photosynthesis, so they can prepare glucose. Now, why can't glucose be utilized as it is? Why do we want glucose to get converted into energy in the form of ATP molecules? Why do we want that conversion to happen? I will give you a very simple example from your day-to-day -day life. Now, why glucose needs to be converted to energy into ATP? This will explain that. Let us suppose that you want chocolates. So you tell your dad that dad I want chocolate. Now there are two things that your dad can do. One option is your dad gives you a chocolate. The other option is your dad gives you some money. Now let us suppose that you said you need a chocolate and your dad instead of giving you a chocolate he gave you some money. But what you wanted? You wanted chocolate but what you got you got money so will that money do for you can you eat that money no so what will you do with that money so you will get that money converted into a chocolate so right now you have money so you take that money go to a shop give that money and buy a chocolate so now you have the chocolate and this is what you wanted so now you can eat it so exactly the same thing is happening in case of plants. Now plants need energy. By photosynthesis what plants get is glucose. So glucose is just like the money. So glucose is not energy but glucose can provide energy. Glucose can be converted into energy. So that is why respiration happens so that glucose can be converted into what 
the plants need because plants need energy and energy is stored in the form of ATP molecules which are like energy currency like the currency notes so you have a hundred rupee note that can buy you a lot of things you have a 500 rupee note that can again buy you a lot of things similarly ATP is nothing but energy currency so you have uh, 20 ATP molecules now as you keep uh, spending that energy so your number of ATP molecules keep reducing so instead of 20 now you might have 10 ATP molecules again you spend more energy you might uh, end up with some 3 or 4 ATP molecules so it is just like an energy currency so what happens during respiration is this glucose gets converted into energy which is in the form of ATP molecule. ATP is nothing but adenosine triphosphate and this is glucose. So this is the conversion which takes place in presence of oxygen and this process is called respiration. So you see the respiration is as vital in plants as in animals. So let us try to understand cellular respiration in plants. So in plants also during respiration breakdown of food takes place to release energy in cells. So when I say breakdown of food, food is nothing but glucose that is C6H12O6. When oxidized, it produces CO2 plus H2O plus energy. So this is what happens during cellular respiration in plants. So how does this energy help? The energy which is produced out of respiration. So this energy which is produced as a result of respiration helps to perform the various activities like in case of us. In case of human beings, we do different types of activities. We do all that kind of work. Everything involves energy and that energy is pro provided by this respiration. Similarly, in case of plants also, they also undergo a lot of processes inside them. Even plants have to prepare their food, that is by photosynthesis. They also throw out waste materials out of their body. They also grow, they also reproduce and all these processes need energy. So this energy I mean this is where this energy helps the plants. Now the question is for respiration to take place gaseous exchange had to happen in plants also. So how do gaseous exchange take place? So plants take in carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and give out oxygen. So in case of plants the carbon dioxide which is a product of respiration is used for photosynthesis and in photosynthesis they give out oxygen. And in case of respiration, it is just the opposite. So whatever is the product of photosynthesis is the substance that is needed for respiration. Similarly, whatever is the product of respiration is what that is needed for photosynthesis. So you look for plants, it's like oxygen and carbon dioxide can be utilized alternatively. However, plants also have these structures called stomata which are tiny pores which are present on the leaves through which gaseous exchange takes place between plants and the surrounding atmosphere. So that's how stomata helps in gaseous exchange. Not only stomata, there are also root hairs which are in direct contact with oxygen which might be present in the soil because soil also contains water and in water you have oxygen in dissolved form. So from there absorption of oxygen can happen through root hairs also. In some plants there are these small pores called lenticels and these are present on the stems of the plants. So these lenticels also help in exchange of gases. So these are some of the parts in plants which help in gaseous exchange. However, like animals, plants do not have any specialized respiratory organs like lungs or gills or anything like that. Do you know why? Because in plants, there is less transport of gases from one part to another. Because even if you look at the plants, they, they of course do have um, conducting vessels like uh, xylem and phloem. We will talk about them in the next lesson. So, but as such, they do not really need to transport these gases from one part to another. Because
because everywhere like in stems they have stomata uh, in leaves they have stomata so they can undergo exchange of gases from there similarly in roots they have root hairs so root hairs can help in gaseous exchange again you have lenticels so there are many different things which actually help in gaseous exchange in different parts of the plant rate of respiration is quite lesser than animals that is because in animals when animals want to undergo respiration they need oxygen so that entire oxygen has to be taken in from the surroundings but in case of plants oxygen is also produced as a result of photosynthesis so some amount of oxygen is managed within the plants itself plants only produce oxygen so less amount of oxygen is needed from outside therefore the rate of respiration is also quite slow when compared to animals transport is needed over smaller distances compared to animals now whatever gas or oxygen or carbon dioxide that needs to be transported that transportation also happens over comparatively a smaller distance as than animals so overall if you look at the respiration process air glucose gets oxidized to perform carbon dioxide water and energy and this energy is in the form of atp molecules so respiration is a multi step process the energy produced is utilized for atp synthesis so again atp molecules which are the energy currency so this is how respiration takes place in plants so thank you please visit www.examfeo.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.